Bruce here with you as we get ready for a little NBA action on 2K Sports. A Friday night NBA presentation. It's going to be the New York Knicks up against Chris Bosh and the Miami Heat. And now let's send you down to South Beach for opening tip. Kevin Harlan standing by. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Melo and Amari at the forward slots. Landry Fields out there with Jeremy Lin. And it's Chandler in at the center. And for Miami, Wade and LeBron are the wingmen. Joel Anthony is out there with Chris Bosh. And it's Chalmers in at the point. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. From 11 feet away, the shot no good. And it's the Heat taking it the other way. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game played. And the shot is good. LeBron's now got the first basket of the game for the Heat. Lynn, smooth as silk on the finger roll. Finger roll, that's pure style, guys. I like that. Here's Chalmers. Right now averaging 11 points a game. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Eric Spolster. And what'd you find out, Doris? Well, Kevin, he wasn't nearly as concerned about putting a bunch of points on the board as he was about limiting the scoring on the other end. He said defensively, they should be able to dominate this game. Let's watch and see, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. So, Clark and Steve, defense, it looks like, coming first for them today. And while you don't really want to put all of your cookies in one jar I mean I think emphasis on defense is a way to go yeah I'd agree because if you come out and establish the defense right away it kind of sets the tone and you really kind of take control of that game emotionally now here's Wade averaging 22 points a game this one for three good Wade's got himself on the board with three there you cannot back that far off of a guy, man. I don't care who he is. These guys are pros. They all can shoot. D up. Here is Lynn. Right now averaging 15 points a game. That's good. They strike right back with a three of their own. Steve, that's a great way to respond after giving up the long ball. Fields against Wade. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. Lynn kicks the Chandler. They're moving it around. From 20 feet out, Lynn's shot is off. Now they've got to be careful. They can't give him that much room because at that range, he'll make you pay. Tries again. And the Knicks with the ball. Trailing by two. They're moving on at... Oh! Wow! Watch oh, out for low run for cover, young fella. <laughs> and it's all knotted up. But well, maybe the play of the game right there. An alley-oop slam is always going to be at the top of the list there, Clark. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite plays in basketball, guys. Anthony against LeBron. Bosch dishes to Anthony. And slam down hard. Another look on the Sprite Slam Cam. Boy, that dunk got everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the Sunday on that one. <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> Lynn lifts up, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. First person. Adonis Haslam, he's checked in for Miami. Coles comes in for Mario Chalmers. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. There's 126 left in the first. Now here's Wade. Right side Bosch. 
It's good work defensively by Stoudemire. That's an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. Puts it up. It's hauled in by the Heat. Bosch has got three rebounds now in this one. They faced off right here last time they met, but the home club just couldn't pull out the win. Here's LeBron. A finger roll finish at the bucket. LeBron's now got six points. Here is Lynn. Eight points for him. Yep, it's good. How about the body control, guys? He goes up strong, doesn't he? Here's LeBron. They trail by one. He's picked up by Walker. And they're moving it up. Oh, oh yes! No high to stop the alley-oop. Well, that's the problem. You turn the ball over and your defense just isn't set up at the other end. And sometimes when it happens that way, it almost feels like a four-point bucket. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Carmelo Anthony's checked in for the Knicks. We've got a moment now to see the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. These are the top shooters in the league. You look at Chandler, leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. You know, Kevin, a lot of guys think that points per game is all that matters, but a high field goal percentage indicates efficiency. Taking advantage of your opportunities at a high rate. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Now that's a special order right there. Not everybody can cap off a dunk like that. Yeah, very difficult maneuver, but a tremendous one if you can pull it off. That's now seven straight for them coming from fast breaks. Just making it look easy out there, the way they're running. Now here's Wade. Defense is right there. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Wade's got his second basket of the night. You know, he's really one of those guys that you just have to sit back and really appreciate, fellas. I mean, he is a marvelous offensive player. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. Knicks lead by two. Yeah, this team played an excellent first quarter offensively, moving the ball and getting a good flow. is in full swing and the playoff push is on. LeBron James and the Miami Heat go up against LaMarcus Aldridge and the Portland Trailblazers. More NBA next Thursday night. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. So it's Miami now. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Setting the floor for the Knicks. We've got Walker. Jeffries out there with Stoudemire. Then it's Anthony. And it's Shumpert in at the one. James goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. LeBron's now got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Heat. And here's Anthony for three. Miami grabs the miss. Yeah, again, iffy shot selection there. Defender draped all over. Well, you got to understand who's guarding you in that situation. I mean, if he's on you tight, you can't just rise up and try to shoot over the top. Rebounded by Anthony. He lost his focus there, guys. That's a shot he should make. Some firepower, Clark and Steve, from his offense. Yeah, Kevin, how about the air confidence? I mean, they yeah. really look like they believe in what they're doing. Yeah, a little swagger here from this team. They're in a nice groove. Breaking the action, so right now let's take a look at how the standings are looking out east after half the season has been played. Take a look at the Heat. They're sitting pretty, second place, uh, looking to take the top spot. And, of course, there's the Knicks, down five spots from them. When I look at New York, they've been nothing more than a pedestrian team, kind of run of the mill. We weren't sure quite what to make of them coming into the season. And as a matter of fact, I'm still baffled by them. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe this is just who they are. I mean, it's not a, a tremendously talented team. Uh, perhaps you would have expected a little bit more out of them. But in the end, you know, they're, they're just uh, they're an average NBA team. Field is whistled for reaching in. That is his first foul of the game. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard for the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Here are the team leaders in steals. You need to play these guys heads up. Second, the Knicks. 
One of the things that's made this team so effective is their ability to get takeaways. I mean, they do an excellent job defending the ball and also jumping into the passing lanes, and they're all together defensively. That's one of the reasons they're in, amongst the league leaders in steals. Here is Lynn. Ten points for him. Got that one up quick. 13 points in the game. Great matchup here. This game has gone back and forth. Multiple lead changes. Just a great game, guys. There's a screen. And Haslam backs down. He kicks it to LeBron. Just five to shoot. Again, the miss by the Heat. The Knicks with the lead. Following this one, they get to host the Cavaliers. That game is the first and last of their homestead. And here's Miami. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. And again, LeBron missing. Well-contested shot there. And that's the key defensively. You've got to make them work for it, challenge every shot. Outside, Fields. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Nine straight points for them off of wide-open looks from deep. Something has to change for this deep. Yeah, they're just giving up too many easy shots out there. They've got to close out harder, get a hand up, and make him put it on the floor. LeBron kicks to Miller. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. He's feeling it. The shot is off. And it's the Heat taking it the other way. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yes, sir, fellas. They've had it going on big time. Big time is right, Clark. A lot of momentum here offensively. There's the block. The Knicks leading by four. They've got numbers. What a beautiful play. The catch and the finish all in one fluid motion. How can it get any prettier than that? I don't think it can, guys. That was perfectly executed. Chalmers pass to LeBron. Now Haslam averaging six points per contest. And again, LeBron missing. Tell you what, things just aren't bouncing his way this quarter. Lynn's shot is off. They're struggling to keep up. Now we'll see if they can turn things around on this trip. They can't continue to come up empty. And guys, they look to set it up in the half court. And that's where the struggles have been. In the half court, Kevin, they just have not been able to execute. I agree. I mean, this is all about getting out in transition. That's their only really effective offense uh, to this point. Field. It's the reach-in call. That's foul number two for him. That's uh, two fouls now here in the first half. So we'll see if they let him try to play through it. Here's Battier. Here's Wade. Off target at the rim. Their offense seems completely out of sync here. They're on the long end of a big run. And then at the other end, it's been bucket after bucket after bucket, giving up a huge run here. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Live from Miami, we're back in a moment. Welcome everyone to HP at the Half. We are right in the heart of the NBA season. Who's ready to check the pulse? The Knicks doing well so far. They've been a terror in transition, dicing up the D on the open court. They've gotten some great minutes out of Landry Fields. He's got five points and been a huge factor on the glass. And on the other side, Miami's still scrapping. They've played gritty D and have been hauling in the defensive rebounds. An impressive first half for LeBron. He's been on target from the field, knocking down 54% of his shots. We've already seen some highlights from these two in the first half. They're leading both their teams in scoring. That the second half just about to get going here. Here's LeBron. Chalmers and Wade are the one and the two. Chris Bosh is out there with LeBron James. And it's Anthony in at the center position. So that's where Eric Spolstra starts the second half with. Back to Wade. All sorts of time. Chalmers' shot is no good. 
They've done their part here to run down a lot of missed shots. A solid rebounding effort. Yeah, I, I'm impressed. I mean, they're fighting for every loose ball, putting a body on somebody and going after the rim. The pass to LeBron. This is to Chalmers. Lynn gets called for the reach. That's foul number two for him. Here's LeBron. 12 points for him. Lots of room. Rush can't hit. Here's the break. Let's the three fly. Rebound by the Heat. Coach is liking Clark what he's seeing from his offense. And shoot, why wouldn't he? I mean, guys, they're filling it up with ease, executing, getting quality shots. I mean, this is fun to watch. Yeah, this is like a clinic out there, guys. This is exactly how you attack a defense. Move the ball, sharp cuts, and really a nice pace to their offense. And all 10 of their last points have come inside the paint. So defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, and you got to do a little more to stop it, too. I mean, it's coming way too easy for them. At some points, you just got to buck up and say it's not going to happen. And Fields kicks to Lynn. Fields, some good ball movement here. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. At the line of the next. And the first one drops. Both good from the line that time. Here's LeBron. He's got 14. Now Anthony defending. Poked away. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And a chance here to check out the league's scoring leaders. LeBron James third. And his contribution to this team I mean, can't be understated. His scoring on a night-in, night-out basis has been fantastic. The Heat making a switch here. Coles checked in. And then for New York, Jared Jeffries, who's checked in for Chandler. And it's Walker in for Landry Fields. Here's Wade. He's got five. He's picked up by Walker. Four on the shot clock. Wade gets the bucket. Here is Lynn. Six-point lead. Feeds it to Walker. The three. That drops. Walker's got eight points. And I think defensively, you've got to commit a second defender because he's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, he's been a handful. The three from LeBron. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And yeah, no excuses there. Got a really good look at the basket after being freed up by the pick. We say it all the time. The execution was excellent. The result not as good. But good ball movement anyway. One twenty-four left in the third quarter. T. Wade on the wing. Seven points in the game. Good luck. James is tagged with the loose ball foul. That's his first foul. And the Heat with some changes. Haslam comes in for Joel Anthony. And Shane Battier subbed in for Chris Bosch. And New York with the change here, too. Shumpers checked in. The Knicks leading by nine. Takes it up. And he makes good on the layup. They're just trying to get out and outrun their opponent. And that's exactly what's happening. And I like the way the game plan is working right, quite nicely right now. I mean, they're running right by him and racking up a bunch of fast break points. That timeout called the Heat. He wants to make a few adjustments out there, and he's running through those with his team right now. Fifty-six seconds left in the third. LeBron outside. It's a little short, but gets the friendly roll. LeBron's now got 16. Now they may have to climb on his back to get back into this game. Battier with the steal. The Heat trail by nine. The kick out to LeBron. Back to Wade. He's picked up by Walker. Jumps up, and the basket by Wade. Nine points in the game so far. 
and they keep going right back to the paint. And who can blame them? I mean, they're getting it done in there. Yeah, three of their last five buckets, guys, have come from inside the lane area. So I'd expect them to continue to go inside right at the defense. And he's good on the second. Here's LeBron. He's got 16. Shumpert is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul. I like that foul. You don't want to give up an easy two in transition. No, you don't want to give up a layup. Make him earn them from the stripe, and maybe you get a break, and he makes only one of the free throws and misses them both. The first free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. Second chance shot. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And let's see the leading three-point teams in the NBA. Number one, the Heat. Now the three-point shot has become probably the most important weapon in their arsenal. And look at the numbers. I mean, that's amazing. And the first one at the line is good. So he gets them both. And the Knicks with the ball. And Walker kicks to Anthony. And he trains it. Oh, what a big shot to close out the quarter. They're going to the fourth with a little momentum now. And that's it. Tune in next Wednesday night. Kevin Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder go up against Andre Iguodala and the Philadelphia 76ers. Do not miss it. And now our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, has a report for our Sprite Spark of the game. Doris? Well, it's going to be Bill Walker. He's our Sprite Spark. He's come off the bench and kept his team rolling with his knack for making big plays. We'll see how he can close this game out, guys. Thank you, Doris. He sure did stir things up for him. Well, he was an injection of a different kind of energy out there. Got him going in the right direction and really gave him something the starters weren't able to give him. Well, give him credit. I mean, he was just waiting for his chance, and, and he took full advantage. So with Anthony sitting on the bench, here's the five for Mike D'Antoni right now. Steve Novak is out there with Landry Fields. Then it's Jeremy Lin. And it's Chandler. And it's Shumpert in at the two. Lin gets called for the reach. And that'll be his third foul so far. That's his third Here's Battier. Three from the inbound. And that one's good. Boy, poor defense at both ends. It kind of reminds me of your teams, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly. We did give a little better effort. I mean, neither squad really digging in at that end. At least we tried to play defense. Chandler kicks to Lynn. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That's good defense. Don't let a guy get a lay-in. Foul hard and send him to the free throw line. Yeah, I like that billboard there. Sending a message. You can't come in here and get anything free in our paint. And he makes the first but misses the second. They're really doing a good job working hard to get inside and draw contact, a little more so than they did in the first half. Well, to keep a lead like this, they should continue to attack the paint like they have been. Don't settle for jump shots. Find your way to the free throw line. Tires from deep. Gets it to go. And the Knicks lead by eight. Here's Miami now. Eight-point game. And here's Miller. Shumpert gets the reach-in call. And that'll be his third foul so far. And the Heat with some changes. Chris Bosh is checked in for Joel Anthony. And it's LeBron in for Shane Battier. Stoudemire is checked in for New York. Anthony comes in for Jeremy Lin. Here's LeBron. Hangs in the air. And in he goes for the easy two. LeBron's now got 19 points. Points in the paint have been the main course or main entree, if you will. They just keep pounding it inside. Now they're seeing no resistance defensively in the paint area, so the defense has got to be tougher. 
Goes right up. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Here's LeBron. Right side, Bosch. Now Chandler defending. Haslam, that's good. Yeah, they're finding the open man. Unselfish play. I like it. Yeah, I love it too. Teamwork and evidence there, right on full display. A big percentage, a high percentage of their basket have come off assists. And they're struggling a little bit on the glass. They've got to pick up their physical play in the paint. Yeah, it's about being tougher and, and more physical, just as you said, Steve. If they can do that better, uh, they've got a chance to come back. Boy, he really muscled his way to that rebound, guys, didn't he? He sure did, and then hammered it right back in there. Well, that's the importance of offensive rebounding. What could have been a failed possession turned into two points. Kicks it to Chalmers. Puts up a three, and the Heat, another three. Man, they are both lighting it up here. Exciting basketball, Steve. I mean, it's been back and forth each side, dropping in points every chance they get. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Thank you, Kevin. I was able to listen in on what Mike D'Antoni had to say to his team. He told his team to keep looking for three-point opportunities, saying their perimeter defense isn't doing a good job getting out on our shooters. So let's keep firing away until they decide to guard us. Thank you, Doris. Uh, even though they're down, I like their mentality. We'll get inside and try to create some contact down low. I like it as well. I mean, you just can't assume that you can shoot your way back into it when you're down. You got to grind it out. And part of that is getting the ball inside. Make some count. Man, this is a tight timeout called the Heat. They're losing by four. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's 126 left in the fourth quarter. From the arc. Carmelo Anthony grabs the board. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so too, Clark. A quick look, no good that time. The Heat trail by four. Here's LeBron. Carmelo Anthony grabs the board. Lynn. Book it. You can say anything you want about this guy. He's played well in every area. And you know what? That tells you what kind of game it's been for him. Well-rounded, highly productive in all areas. Less than one minute left. There's the three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Their biggest deficit of the game was 11 points. That's good. And it's an eight-point Knicks lead. They have really executed well here offensively. Well, it's going to take a major catastrophe, a colossal collapse, for them to not walk away with the win. Here's Chalmers. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lynn's shot is off. Clark, this one just all but in the books. Yeah, I don't see a comeback at this point, Clark. Not enough time and just too big of a deficit for this team. Haslam can't get it to go. The clock now can just run out for the Knicks. The three won't fall. Lynn, and there's another one for the Knicks. Man, that's going to do it. I mean, this thing is pretty much over. They played well. Well, it has been a bit anticlimactic the end of the game, but sometimes that's the way it goes. And the Heat call time here. They're trailing by 10. Nine seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? This one has pretty much been put out of reach, but they're not giving up. You know what? I'm not sure. I think at some point you've got to concede and save your energy. So no problem for New York as they get the win. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. That about does it for Clark Kellogg, Steve. Okay. 
I'm the best, I don't have to practice Double team, I don't have to pass it Ballin' hard in our Chevrolets More vets than the Dallas Mavericks Hall of Famer like Shaq and Magic Kobe Bryant, now back to back it Shoot the three if I have to gnash it Dwight Howard when I'm at the basket